They are much bigger. They've gotten to the free throw line a whole bunch more, and a big part of it is number 22 is jumping center, and Keve Aluma wins the tip. We are underway. You won't see Aluma miss one like that very often. Wavisa Beattie comes up with a steal. Nice little dish back, and Beattie lays it in. Virginia Tech Hokies, they got to take whatever they can get, pound it inside, and give nothing back. You don't want to turn it over against Coppin State and let them get up and go. A lean to the bucket for two Virginia Tech. Coppin State team, if they could ever get the ball to fall, they're very effective. They're a really good defensive team. They force a lot of turnovers. Sarvan, nice behind the back dish. The extra pass to the corner, and the three is down for Kyle Cardasi. Leading by a point. Couture, nice pass to Aluma. Aluma, that's his third field goal attempt. He only had four field goal attempts against Clemson. Oh, tough take there. Pretty good defense from Mutz going straight up. They want to get out and go. Good hustle from the Hokies, and Aluma comes up with a pick. Keve to the bucket, no. Gets it back and hit by his own teammate. Perseveres and puts it in. Hokies still have not connected from deep. They're 0 for 6. Aluma trying to change that, and he does. At seven points for Keve Aluma. Cone, shot clock down to three, and Jalen realizes it. On the glass, and Mutz keeps it alive. And here's a lead for three. Rebound for but Mutz. sometimes you're wide open for a reason. He's now one for 11 on the season shooting three. He's just getting warmed up. Yeah, he's going to tell his coach. Oh, swatted by Tark. Baseline. Oh, this is a situation Gasson. A big part of that is giving them the chance to set up their defense at this end of the floor. Like they did so often against Brad Brownell's Tigers. Tark fires and finds nothing but that. So Anthony Tark has seven. So does Keve Aluma. Here's Hunter Couture. And that's money. Now that was a nice rhythm shot. A couple of passes uh, forced the defense to move around. Couture moves to an open area. Caught the ball in rhythm. Inside and a slam for Kobe Thomas. Under eight minutes to play in this first half. Galen Cohn steps back, finds himself open and knocks it in. What a great job by Aluma to just keep that ball alive. Double teams coming. And Couture is open. And that's three for Virginia Tech. And Aluma finds him. That's a great play. Made that shot many times in this gym in practice. All by himself. And there's Justin Mutz knocking down just his third three of the season. So the lead has swelled to 11. As the three-point shots have begun to fall. And the Hokie defense has been really solid. A lean this time. There's another for Virginia Tech. Well, they've gotten better shots. And again, this is in transition, but the defense is forced to collapse. Cordell is in the game for the first time. Trying to stay with the speedy Anthony Tark. And Tark now is nine points to his game. That's going to make you so much more. That was a wild shot from Tark. Inside, counting and one. David Kassan, chance for a three-point play. Hensel reverses nicely. Kassan absorbing the contact. Nice ball movement to a lane. Nothing but that. You move the ball like that, you ought to be rewarded with the three. The Hokies have done a very nice job getting back on defense. There haven't been a lot of open transition opportunities for Coppins. Oh, Keenan Sarvan chucks it in. It was a Maryland program that was very, very strong nationally already, but it just you know, it sealed the deal when they won the championship. Nice drive by Anthony Tark in the national championship conversation. But the last couple of years under Tony Bennett, they have been. They've remained so. Nice backdoor feed and Tark with a loud finish with 13. A little bit more patience on offense to start the second half by Coppin State. Another steal, and Tark to Anthony. Shot clock at eight. Beatty kicks it. Aline sticks it. Seems certainly open to him potentially coming back. 
it's a rare turnover from Beatty. That is some pass right there. Yes, right, indeed. Sarvan lays it in. Afraid. I'm really impressed with their physical strength, with their athleticism. They can get after you defensively. Nice pass. And that time they hit the board intentionally. Nice bank shot there. Sarvan was open. 14th turnover for Coppin. And Radford becomes the sixth member of the Hokies to knock down a three-pointer tonight. Obviously, they haven't been perfect, but nobody ever is. But they've really done a nice job pressing Coppin State. In the passing lane again there. And Cole to the basket. The bench wanted a stop. In that situation, Cone was very wise to keep it. You don't want to risk the pass. <laughs> Got a piece of the three ball, but Tark on the second effort lays it in. Offensive output. Cone with a hand in his face, draws the foul, and hits the three. Chance for a four-point play. And then uh, eight days after that, returning to ACC play with the Miami Hurricanes. Maddox off the bench, arrives with a bang, and knocks down the three. Harlan Beverly is a pretty good player. Go back to Max on the other side. And the same result for the freshman. Back to back threes for Darius Maddox. They are uh, an instinctive team. Let's take the personality of their coach, but that's a bad pass for Maddox. Thomas! Uh, we said Coppin State is a very good defensive team. They can cause problems. Maddox looking for an assist to Cone. Buries it. I was wondering if we'd see him today. His teammates have raved about him in practice. Kassan, Cone, and on the glass, Bamaseel puts it back up and in. Originally committed to a D2 school, but went to prep school in New Jersey, then to NJIT, ace on all freshmen. Transferred to UTEP, and now a top in state, and the three-point barrage. Drive, and there's the first collegiate bucket for Kalen Harkema. He's gotten bounced around a little bit, but you have to say about that kid, he is not afraid. He sticks his nose in there constantly. Tor sticking his nose in himself, and he gets two. Against Clemson, the Hokies have four in double figures. Couture now with 11. Harkema feeling it. Not that time. Numbers, Couture up high for Mutt. We mentioned Couture has five assists on the game. Hey, That's a seal of the oh, bucket. What a move that is. Wow, well, the Hokies lead by 40. That's a good shot. Jalen Cohn now with four threes in the game. Amasiel tosses one up and buries it. Wow. Another good look, and three more for a lead. And again, it started that time it was Gasson driving the ball into the teeth of that defense, drawing defenders, kicking it out. Good for 15 since halftime. Trying to keep it going. Why not? 20 triples for the Hokies. Four for 24 from beyond the arc. Eight for 22 from the free throw line. Just hard to win games like that. Against anybody. Uh, particularly against the team that makes 23s. Now you mentioned the Longwood Lancers coming in here to play on Monday. Well, they started their schedule by playing back-to-back -back games against Radford. Well, I think that's I think that's really true. Although I would say that based on what I've seen so far, every Florida State team is going to take an awful lot of beating. Bill Williamson gets a field goal attempt, but nothing more. There's a three for Isaiah Gross. He's as a team made 20 three-point field goals, and they win it, 97 to 57 over Coppin State.